This is the sixth and last film in our Next Generation Introduces series. In this film, we are going to focus on how the Royal Shakespeare Company is using digital technology and incorporating technology into its theatre practice. Traditionally, technology and the arts have been seen as separate entities in education, but it is becoming more and more apparent that they are intertwined. The Royal Shakespeare Company is interested in pushing the boundaries between art and technology by exploring how we can incorporate digital technologies into our performances. To find out more, we asked Sanvi, a member of our Youth Advisory Board, to interview Sarah Ellis, the Royal Shakespeare Company's Director of Digital Development. Sanvi found Sarah at the RSC's home in Stratford-upon-Avon. Hello, my name is Sanvi and I am a member of the RSC's Youth Advisory Board. I'm here in Stratford-upon-Avon at the Royal Shakespeare Company to meet Sarah Ellis, the RSC's Director of Digital Development. I want to find out more about Sarah's role and about how the RSC is incorporating digital technology into its productions. I've been told that Sarah is in the Ashcroft Room. Follow me. Thank you for agreeing to answer some questions for me today. Firstly, when people think about wanting a career in theatre, they might consider acting, directing, lighting, sound, costume design, etc. But not many people would know that the RSC has a Director of Digital Development. Could you please tell me a bit about your role and what exactly a Digital Development Director does? I can. I'm the first director of digital development at the Royal Shakespeare Company and the role has come about be because of the world we're in right now and the interest that we have in digital technologies all around us all the time and how we can look at theatre and how those technologies can expand a theatre making toolkit and how we can maybe imagine possibilities of what theatre can be in the future. So my job really is to work with people that know their craft and are amazing at that and welcome new voices into that mix for us to explore what the future of theatre can be. Um, whether that's a technologist or a gamer or a coder or a programmer. Um, people that may not know much about theatre but are of this world that we're in for us to explore that together. That's great. And is your role unique? Do other theatres have staff that focus on digital arts practice? There haven't been many roles like this, um, but they're growing and it's expanding. So I'm really lucky to work for a company that has had a huge interest in this space for quite some time. And there are other leading theatre companies, opera houses, um, that have had those roles as well. But what's wonderful is that we're seeing not just roles like mine emerge, but a whole new generation of practitioners and people that have got these brilliant skills that are coming into the space and are excited by what theatre is and what it's about. Mm. And during the COVID pandemic, when theatre sadly had to close, how did theatre companies find their audiences or even find new audiences? I think that it's really fair to say that when the pandemic hit, um, theatre was impacted incredibly by that. And in a way, we had to find a connection with our audiences at one of the most challenging times. And using technologies such as online platforms, Zoom, um, online ways that we could find a connection was a really important way for us to be with our audiences and also um, create work that was, were for those stages. Um, one thing that we did in the pandemic at the very beginning was ask our audiences where they were at. And three things came back to us overwhelmingly, which were 
audiences were craving togetherness, they were craving liveness, but it did highlight a huge digital inequity out in our world. And I think as we come out of the pandemic, what's really important when we look at technology is making sure it's accessible to people, available to people, and that we, we work with our live worlds and our digital worlds together. I'm sure many young people watching this will want to know how you got into your role and what experience they might need to do a job like yours. Goodness, that's probably, wow, that's a big question. I think probably a younger generation coming through probably has way more experience than I ever had or still have in a role like this. And that's incredibly exciting. What I'm seeing coming through with young people is if you code or if you program or if you're interested in visual effects, theatre can be a profession for you. And so the, the possibilities around a role like mine and the people that we can work with who are new to theatre is, is really huge. My background has been really varied. I've worked in the arts for a long time, but I've always had an interest in technology because I think it's, at the end of the day, technology is about the people not the devices and not the things. So my background has been about curiosity and it's about working with people that you can connect around story and technology, whether that's a small project, whether that's a large scale project. But I'm really excited about the generation coming through and what they've got to say. Going on with that, what do you most enjoy about your job? Goodness, meeting people from around the world that come to Stratford-upon-Avon and have the best time ever and can see the magic of Shakespeare's plays come alive and then imagine what they could do with it. To reimagine Romeo and Juliet for a generation now, to look at Hamlet and what those characters have to speak, say to us now. And there is nothing better than inviting people and who can experience the magic of Stratford-upon-Avon but bring their superpowers and their expertise, whether they're a technologist from America or whether they're someone that's come in from a, from a completely different industry. That's the best bit. And I believe you work with a lot of other organisations to deliver your work. Could you give some examples of this? Yes, we've worked a lot in partnership and collaboration and all my work features partnership because I believe that's the best way for us to expand our horizons and think about how we can look at the future of theatre inclusively and, and bring in as many different voices of, as possible to that. Um, our partnerships in particular with Samson have proved really, really impactful and, and over the long term, looking at a company that's not just thinking about one set of technologies, but has such a wide range of approaches to their technology, it's a perfect partner for us to, to be with because it allows us to experiment in lots of different ways about how we could explore the future of theatre and live performance. I agree. And finally, a difficult question maybe, but what do you think is the future of digital theatre or technology in theatre? Oh, that's a really good question. I think to look at the future, sometimes you need to look back at the past, and that's why working with Shakespeare's texts is so awesome. So if we look at Shakespeare's plays and who they were made for and where they were made for at the time, that's a wonderful thing. But how they're still with us now is because someone invented the printing press. So we have those words on paper. And I think it's really important, again, to look at people that have experimented over centuries. And that's what's great about Shakespeare's plays. We see the different interpretations for different times. And that does help us think about the future. Sometimes when you think about the future, we think it's really immediate and it's gonna happen next year. And particularly in this pandemic time, a year has been a really, really long time. But I always remember my grandma, who's 95 now, remembering the first time she heard a telephone ring and it totally scared her. And if you think about what telephones are now, and that was nearly a hundred years ago, what I think about the future for theater is it's exciting but it's live, it's connected, it's together. But what we know is that we can be together in person and we can be together far away. So for me, the future of theatre is inclusive 
and it's also super brilliant because we are going to be getting future ideas with existing craft and that's going to be really awesome. Thank you for your brilliant answers, Sarah. Thank you. <laughs>